This is the test collections instructions video for the Mosaic Diagnostics Mycotoxin Urine Test Kit. You will have either gotten this in the office at AIW or you've had it shipped to you. It is prepaid through our office, so you're going to have paid for that before you got your test kit and no payment is due to Mosaic Diagnostics. I'm going to go ahead and unpack this in the video so you can see exactly how this is presented to you as a patient if you've gotten this shipped to you. If you got it here in our office, we probably will have already made the modifications I'm about to do now. This test kit will have already been registered when you get it in the office or when you've had it shipped to you. So this really is not necessary. Um, it's just a reminder mostly for us, but we will have registered this for you before we give it to you. These are the barcode sample collection stickers. You're going to put one of these on your collection cup. We'll go over that in a minute. This is a test requisition form. Again, this is not needed. We will have already done this online before we gave you this test kit if you're in office. But if you've had it shipped to you, this will be included in the test kit. We've already done this online, so this is not needed. You can also discard this. This is some bulk of the test kit. Here we have our collection cup. Um, it has some basic information, name, date of birth, um, date. You don't need this medical records number. That would just be for our internal use, but we don't have that kind of thing at AIW. And you're also gonna wanna include one of these barcode collection stickers on the opposite side of this collection cup. These are the test kit collection instructions. This test kit through Mosaic can be used for a couple of different urine collection tests. Um, so let's go through what we're going to do for the mycotoxin specifically. Um, there is an ice pack in here they're going to want you to put in the freezer. I would go ahead and do that a couple days before you test just to make sure that's nice and frozen by the time we get around to it. Um, they've also got a biohazard bag in here and they've got this cold pack as well. So let's go over this. Um, please don't collect your samples. If you're menstruating, wait until the following week to collect the sample. We don't want to contaminate it with any blood. Um, and then we're going to do a fasting test. So you're going to do this before eating or drinking. That way it's the most concentrated and the most accurate that we can get it. This is not the test that we're doing, organic acids, microbial organic acids test. We are doing the mycotox profile. So at least 72 hours before collecting, please avoid any binders such as glutathione, charcoal, betonite clay. If you're not able to do this for health reasons, please reach out to our office and um, we'll see what to do from there. We may just read the results differently, but please let us know if you're not able to stop those things if you are taking those. Um, we are also not doing the heavy metals test through them. All right, so we're gonna collect our first morning sample. Do not eat or drink anything. Make sure to put your barcode on there before you put your sample in and put the correct time of collection. Then you are going to put this sample in the freezer. It is a frozen sample. Once it's done being frozen, you'll take that in the ice pack and you're going to put it in this biohazard bag with the absorbent pad into the thermo silver bag and then into your test kit. And that is about it. It's a pretty straightforward test. The only other thing in here is just some shipping information. And then you've got your prepaid label with UPS. Any UPS location can take this package. Just please avoid shipping it on a Friday or after so it doesn't sit in a warehouse over the weekend. If you have any questions about this test kit, please don't hesitate to reach out to our office.